Hi, you're watching Deborah, and today I'm with Rainbow Dash and Rarity. What are we doing today, Deborah? Well, today I thought, as we have lots of leftover items from our crafts time, I thought we'd maybe try and use some of them up in a, trying to do some butterflies. What do you think about that? That's a lovely idea. Can we choose the colours? Of course you can. That's why I've got you here to help me today. So, we're going to try to do some butterflies, but I thought we'd try to do some with paper, maybe some with felt, and maybe we'll try later with a plate. But we'll move on to that in a bit. Shall we try the paper butterfly first? Yes, please. Can I help you with that one? OK, Rainbow Dash, why don't you come over with me and we'll choose the paper together. Oh, brilliant. Um... Oh, I quite like the orange. What do you think? We've got orange, yellow, white and pink. Can I have some yellow? Of course you can. And I'm also going to grab some black. The first thing we have to do is we need to draw the butterfly shape. I know a little trick about this. If you get your paper and fold it in two, let's draw a little head and then we're going to start to draw the outline of the butterfly wing. So a butterfly wing goes in two kind of big circles and then at the bottom a little tail. But we're going to cut on the folded sheet. When we open it up, we've got our butterfly. Now, you can do the same thing if you want to have the same shapes on each side. Now, I want to do two lots of those because I'm going to do matching sides. Take the piece that you've just cut out put it on the paper and trace round it. Okay, let's do the little one as well. And we'll just quickly cut those out. We have two matching big pieces two matching small pieces. You can place your matching pieces on opposite sides. This is where you're going to need some glue, so when you work out where you'd like it, okay, one, and the other side, two, now for our small spots. That's starting to look a bit more colourful, but I think it's missing something. How about some glitter? Oh, oh, here's the glitter over here. Can we have some purple? That's a really good idea. Let's have some purple. Now you can use glitter glue or you can use felt tip pens. You can decorate your butterfly however you want. There we go. Hmm. How about some green glitter next? That's looking good now, girls, isn't it? I'm really liking the glitter. But is it still need any more? You're right, I think it does need a little bit more colour. Wait a minute, how about we use some of this? That could be the middle of the butterfly. What do you think of that? I really like that colour, that's a really great idea. Can we do that? Yes, yes, yes. Okay then, so let's use this pipe. What I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it. Actually, before I glue it, I think I might use two because we can give the butterfly some antennae. Now, let's do 
glue. Let's put that on there. I'm just going to have to hold it there for a moment. Now, our butterfly is starting to look quite colourful. But do you think we should give them her eyes? Get some beautifully eyes and pop them either side. Do you think we should give her a name? Oh yes, I think she looks like a lily. Lily, that's a great name. What do you think? I'm going to leave Lily to dry. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for joining me, Rainbow Dash and Rarity. I'll put Lily over by you so you can have fun with her. You've been watching Deborah, and don't forget to subscribe below. Thanks for watching. Bye.